welcome all of you now after discussing the telescope concept in minimal axis surgery in this video we are going to discuss the light cable in minimal axis surgery few important points we are going to discuss regarding light cable and followed by another video in which we are going to discuss the light source the various light sources available for minimal axis surgery and after that a little bit about the camera head so let's start with the light cable just to remind you regarding the previous discussion this was how to hold the laparoscope this is very important how to hold the laparoscope again quickly we are just revising it so that we can just catch up with the previous discussion here you can see a b c d e these alphabets they are denoting r the a is denoting the right thumb b c d e denote they are denoting the four fingers of right hand and this is applicable for a right handed surgeon and vice versa we can just project it for a left handed surgeon also so this is for right handed surgeon a here is the thumb of the surgeon this is the camera head there is a ccd part this one is uh, the cupola this is the eye piece this one is the telescope this is the light adapter and this one is the shaft of the telescope and this one is the light cable in this video we are going to discuss this light cable right so in this manner you are going to hold it right now this one is the light cable connected to the light adapter and through this light cable the light is coming from the light source and it is going through the fiber optic zone that is present in inside the shaft of the telescope okay so in this video we are going to discuss it the light cable here is the area of dissection this area lies inside let's say for abdominal cavity this lies inside the abdomen and we have inserted the telescope here there is a tip of the telescope and there are optical fibers zone that is present this outermost zone in the laparoscope what we are using here is the ccd along with cupola and it is the attachment for light cable this portion is the light cable this light cable is coming from the light source right so in the next video we'll discuss the light source here we are just focusing on this light cable and from this ccd the feedback goes to the camera analyzer and then finally to the monitor right so transmission of light in any minimal access surgery it occurs through the light cable as well as the optical fibers that is present inside the laparoscope and then the reflected rays they come back and then again perceived by the ccd and then finally the image that is formed is displayed over the monitor okay after that this one is the area in this video we are going to discuss so we must remember that light cable should be intact in any surgery if we want a brighter field of vision this light cable should be intact and 
the principle basic principle on which it functions is the total internal reflection of light almost total internal reflection of light and based on this theory the light cables are basically two types the fluid filled cables known as ffc and fiber optic cable right so fluid filled light cable they were previously used when this fiber optic cable was not readily available but nowadays fiber optic cable is most commonly used so fluid filled light cable the advantage of using this fluid filled light cable is it transmit it transmits a greater amount of light as compared to any other type of cable but the limitations of this fluid filled light cable are so many just to enumerate some there is more conduction of heat as compared to the fiber optic cable is stiffer nature more stiff the fluid filled cable they are more stiff these cables are more stiff and that's why it's very difficult to handle the angled scopes we if we are using angled scopes like 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree with this fluid filled light cable it is very difficult to control these angled scopes it creates an hindrance in handling these scopes and we cannot auto clave them another important difficulty the fluid filled light cable we cannot auto clave them whereas the fiber optic cable yes we can sometimes if that is available then fragile nature very fragile nature as compared to the fiber optic cable so fluid filled light cable due to these limitations and availability of fiber optic cable nowadays these are not very commonly used and the choices the better choices always a fiber optic cable as previously said is it is commonly used this fiber optic cable advantage it's more user friendly and sometimes if these fiber optic cable they are having a transparent case surrounding it and through this transparent case we can always assess the various possibility of any damage to the optical fibers running inside the cable so if this transparent case is available with the fiber optic cable it is an advantage to us we can assess the damage to optical fibers so next question is up till what percentage of damage to the optical fibers we can use any light cable fiber optic cable so the answer is if any cable is having more than 25% fibers damaged it wants replacement it should be replaced right so more than 25% fibers means more than 1 by 4th damaged fibers inside any fiber optic cable we must replace it and the one of the advantage disadvantage or limitation of fiber optic light cable is in this type of cable even an individual fiber is susceptible for damage right so again carefully used although when used with any telescope angled scope it creates very less hindrance while handling the angled scopes as compared to the fluid filled light cable right and here this picture you can see here this is if we are going to just for demonstration purpose if you are going to cut any damaged already damaged fiber optic cable midway and 
one of the end is connected to the light source and when we are switching on the light source this is the view usually we get we can see here the individual tip of the fibers the cut end of optic fiber cable somewhat looks like this right here you can see the optic fiber cable the individual light just to give you an idea how does it look like as you can see here the total internal reflection of light in optic fiber cable here the light travels in a straight line here is the core where the light is totally internally reflected the outside the cladding is there followed by coating just to strengthen it give the strength to the cable and the outer jacket for protection so this is the basic diagram of the structure of an optic fiber cable and here is the individual tip just see the light present at the tip of this the individual fiber obviously the proximal portion of this light cable is attached to the light source the light source is giving the light producing the light and that light is traveling these individual fibers and here the tip of the individual fibers are there and we can see the light on the tip of the individual fibers so that's all in this video regarding the light cable thank you let's go to the another video that is there we are discussing the light sources thank you